Hi guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to operate a Telepresence Conductor server. I hope this is useful for you. Right now we are looking at my Telepresence Conductor for my lab. On the left hand side of the screen you will see the console from VMware. As you can see the version that I am running right now is 303 and I'm going to be upgrading it to a 4.0. I already took a backup of my Telepresence Conductor and I also took a snapshot of the virtual machine. The first thing that we need to do is to go to Maintenance and then click on Upgrade. Then we need to look for the file that we are going to use. And since this is a major upgrade, we are going to need a new release key. I already have it in place. And then we're going to click on Upgrade. At this point we just need to click on Continue Upgrade. If you want to verify the MD5 hash, you can get that from the Cisco.com webpage. As you can see, the upgrade was successful. Right now, what we need to do is to reboot the system, and you will also see that message if you go to the console. Let's go ahead and click on Reboot System. As you can see, finally all the services have restarted. We can try to log in back again, and we should see the new version. The upgrade was successful. As you can see, we had the version 4.0, and this was the whole procedure. On real time, it actually took about 15 minutes, and that will depend on the platform that you have. That was it for the upgrade for a telepresence conductor. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope this was useful for you.